Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays for another episode of, for another run of some Manhunt Checkpoint. And we're we'll once again we're still playing with um, new game modes for this. So we've uh, we're doing the, the big circle of doom again, but instead of instead of the way it was working last time where it was sort of attached to me by an elastic band and would bounce around all over the place. Instead we're doing oops that horrible but for now I don't just got a hole in it. Um, Instead, we're now doing one where it's sort of... Oh, come back, Oracle. Oh, another car. I need a car. Or the punster's going to turn up and shoot me. I'm going to take this one again and get a bit further away from here. Right. So, instead of being attached to me by elastic and bouncing around all over the place, as it did in the uh, in the previous game mode... Oh, what's that? There we go. an Oracle. Let's take that one. Um, instead, it's now it's now oscillating around me on sort of a sort of a sine wave thing. So there's two essentially two sine waves. There's one um, moving it up and down in the um, y coordinate axis, and then one moving it across back and forth in the x axis. So in theory, that should wobble around fast enough that it's that it's not very obvious how I'm moving, and that should allow me to drive around without being, in theory and hopefully, without being um, detected too easily. I think we've still got the thing in where it gradually shrinks over time, so that means if I take more than about five minutes to take a checkpoint, then I'll um, I'll be my, my, I'll lose some of my circle for the next one. So it, it, it gets gradually smaller over time, as I say. There's a purple car coming up behind me, and he's gone straight past, which is good. There's a green car over there as well. There's a blue car doing something very suspicious, floating in the air. So there's some odd things going on around here. There are some strange shenanigans. Also, there's that car there that's trying doing its very best to give me away. Come on, lights, change, please, before before the hunters come back. There's also an orange car over there. That orange car over there, I believe, is a dead one because it was there when I flew past earlier. So it looks like Mike has just abandoned a car somewhere because it's untidy. But I can believe that of it. So yeah. I now need to head down into the ghetto, and I need to do so. I'm not sure what the best way to play with this um, particular. Um, hunter clue system is because going fast and trying to fling the circle around isn't going to work the way it does with the elastic band mode one um, it's always going to be locked to me so if I drive the faster I drive the more obvious it is which way I'm going so as it is it's going to be sort of moving back and forth with me somewhere in the center of its oscillation so again if I sit still for too long it's going to be fairly obvious where I am um, which is why I need these I mean, traffic lights to change. But also, if I drive quickly, it's going to be fairly obvious where I am as well. So I don't want to sit still for too long because I feel that will give me away. I don't know how accurate that is, but I feel like it's going to give me away, and that's almost as bad. Okay, there's Pete going up there to investigate all of those cars. So we'll see what. Ha Good luck to him. Um, long may he stay out that way. Now I'm going to pull up here. How far past? They've gone. Right, okay. I'm going for the checkpoint then in that case. Past that to F620. Someone's left a Windsor there, which is very untidy of them, because Windsors just get in the way, because they're huge. Um, okay, so that's that checkpoint taken. Boom. So it's gone. Um, so now... Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit of a distance away from it. I don't know how carefully the hunters are watching what the circle's doing, but that should at least give me a... Um, I'm far enough away from the checkpoint that hopefully I'm a little bit safe just to sit in this traffic while I wait for it to tell me where the next checkpoint is. Oh, no, because if the next checkpoint is in the airport, I don't want to be heading off towards the hills. And if the next checkpoint is in the hills, I don't want to be heading off towards the airport. So, Ghetto is sort of fairly central. So, there we go. That's um, airport-ish. Is that the airport um, spaghetti? I think it might be. It's slightly hard to tell from here. Once again, I'm sitting around for an awfully long time. I'm going to go straight on here, which I'm probably not supposed to do, but I don't really care. I, I was going to say, I heard a crash behind me. That must be a hunter, and yes, it was. He was dressing in the purple. Um, however, he's gone past, so that's okay. I'm going to sneak... Is this Grove Street down here? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. So I'll head down here, turn right at the end, and then head back round towards the airport down here. And this is a slightly odd way to go, so hopefully that's going to make me reasonably hidden. Um, and again, if I carry on doing normal car-type speeds, 
hopefully that will be sort of hidden in the in the random oscillations of the um, of the circle and will make it not particularly obvious where I am. Pull up the lights here, let's try and keep an eye out. That looks like an orange mic car there, I suspect. Don't drive into me, you idiot. What the hell? Oh, this is going to give me away. I'm also in too good a car for the area, which isn't ideal. Oh, is that... Hang on, actually, that isn't where I thought it was. Where is that Where is that checkpoint? Oh, it's all the way over there. Right, okay. In that case, I'm going to turn right here with a bit of a smash and a bang. I hear shooting. Now, one thing we've done is we've given the um, the hunters very, very loud weapons. Um, single shot weapons as well, so you can hear how slowly they're shooting. Oh, that wasn't Mike, it was another orange car. Um, so they're... When they do shoot, they'll scare the AIs for blocks around. Um, and also they can't fire very quickly. So if they start trying to just shoot random other cars to are around, it's probably not going to go very well for them. It's going to scare off lots of AIs and make it harder for uh, hard, make that harder for them. And they can't shoot lots and lots of cars. And, and if there's any moving cars, they're going to be difficult to hit as well. And we've implemented that because we noticed in... in um, last week's session, even though we only had two hunters, because they had shotguns and machine guns, if they had any suspicion that a car was me, they could just, or if if they if they worked out a car was me, I could, I had almost no chance of getting away from them, because I'd put my foot down to try and escape, and there'd be a spray of bullets my way, and that would get me almost every time. What the hell? Why is that car honking? Is it because they want to turn right and on the, on the red, and I'm not, so they can't? Probably is. Yes, looks like it was. That's interesting. Normally they just sort of get right up behind you and or try and slide past you, so that's an improvement, I guess. Why are they all going around to the right a bit there? <laughs> Must be a bit of road that's not quite defined properly on the in the game. Oh, Pete's died. That can only be a good thing from my point of view. <laughs> I wonder what happened to him. Maybe he upset a gang or something. That's usually why hunters end up dying in this, uh, in this game. Okay, we're going in the right direction now, more or less. I don't know how big my circle is. I don't know whether I should be trying to go a bit faster than this or not. Um, but there's just been so many red lights that I've not wanted to put my foot down. He says he's running a red light. Okay. <laughs> Mike's, Mike's dead as well. This is going very, very well from that point of view for me. <laughs> One left. Um, presumably, if the hunters are dying, that just means that they're going to... they can respawn and carry on playing. It's not... we, we only have... Uh, we only have quite a small number of hunters, so we don't say that if you die you have to stop playing, um, because then we just run out of hunters very, very quickly. Um, but it does mean they'll respawn somewhere else in the, in the city. I think that was Pete who went past just then, so... He's kind of back, and yes, I know I am heading away from the checkpoint at the moment. But sort of the um, the roads the roads made me, I guess, um, and I was sort of following them. And I also want to kind of try and loop around the checkpoint and come into it from the opposite direction. I don't know if that's going to be realistic. Um, in a normal checkpoint mode, that's a very good tactic because um, it means you can if you swing around and come in from an unexpected direction, then they're less likely to see you. Well, I'm not going that far out though, that's ridiculous. So here, if I go right and then come through, then go through perhaps through the middle of the um oh, I don't know what the best way to get here is. So the, the checkpoint is down on the opposite is down on the far corner of the canals area, so way off down that way somewhere. Is this a green light for me? Is that a helicopter? Yeah, and there's a hunter over there, I can hear them shooting. They've terrified the AIs though, so that's good enough excuse for me to just cruise off around this way at some speed. So what I'm planning to do is if I turn left at the end of this at this junction coming up, then I can head down through the... no, not this one, the next one. Then I can head through the um, canals area. Have I gone the wrong way? I have gone the wrong way. Never mind, I can get back across. Is that Mike's real car or is that another abandoned, abandoned Mike car? He's been scattering cars all over the city, which is very untidy of him. Okay, so my plan is, as I've been trying to say, and just making a terrible job of, is to head straight through the, um, the, 
canals there along the bumpy road that goes through the middle. Um, and then from there, head over toward down, turn right at the end and head down to the checkpoint. I think, I think it's a sensible way to do it. Um, it means I have the final approach is going to be from the most obvious direction. But up to that point, this bit here is significantly more subtle. And the other alternative is I could turn right here. Ooh, let's try that. I don't think AI cars go down here, though. This is probably going to be a bad idea. This is a road, though, so maybe... Maybe they'll think AI cars sometimes come out of here if they see me. I don't know. Oh, maybe not, on the other hand. Uh, where's the way out? Where's the way out? How do you get out of this spooky area? Okay, so I've been spotted. Not surprisingly, I came out of... Oh, God, they're playing pinball with me now. Right. Um... This is not a good way to go because this is basically a one-way area. There's no other ways out apart from heading back to the uh, west again, like I am, am now. Um, okay, I've got all three of them behind me. Oh, no. Um, where does this road go? Okay, I, I know where this road goes. Oh, that wasn't good at all. I'm oh, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm st oh, I'm free. I'm free. Thank you, Mike. That was just what I needed. <laughs> There's not much of my car left, but what there is of it is now no longer pit. <laughs> That's a good thing. Um, I don't know. What, I don't know how I'm going to get away. Um, there is only Pete behind me at the moment, which is probably a good thing because at least his car is the window, which is ludicrously quick and heavy. And oh no, I've crashed again. Ah. <laughs> This is... Oh, they've all caught up with me because I've failed at that escape route. There's not very much left of this car, though, which is um, a problem for me. It's, it's The handling is mostly okay, but only mostly. I'm um, struggling a little bit here. But let's try and... Oh, that was not good. This game would be easier if I could drive better. Um... Okay, there we go. Let's try and get out of here again. <laughs> that was a bit ridiculous. The end of braking manoeuvre is less effective when there's a lot of cars chasing you. Because you might get one of them. You might throw one of them off like that. But then throwing the rest of them who are probably just behind. Oh! I was too busy looking backwards. Crash. There we go. That's properly executed end or break manoeuvre. But as I say, when the another car has caught up with you, it's 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 less effective. Oh, I was say, what is wrong with me today? I just keep looking behind me and ending up in trouble because of it. There is not enough of this car left for me to be confident in my chances. Let's go this way. Is that that same abandoned mic appeal? <clears throat> yes, I think it is. Um, I seem to have got away, which is nice. So maybe that's down to the... Ooh. I'm going to try and... <sighs> this car is not turning properly. There's not very much left of this car. Right, so... I'm in the, in the car park. Let's try and hope there's some cars in here that I can switch to. Ideally, I'd like to have a selection of cars. There's a bit of choice of cars to pick, but at this point, I would probably just take almost anything that appears. There's so little left of this car, I feel like I need something. But this car park... How is the car park completely empty? Ah, there we go. It's it's an F620, which will get them suspicious. But, on, but also, it's a decently quick car, so it'll help me get away for now. For... Uh, no, I can't use an F620. It's too, too ostentatious, too obvious. Let's have what's this over here? Is this is this a Premier? I don't actually know what this is. Oh, it's a blister. That'll do nicely. Blisters are they're not fast, but they have quite nice handling. So I think I can go with this reasonably happily. Now, if the um, there we go. I was going to say if the uh, 
alarm would stop going off, that'd be nice. Right, phew. That was tense. I can't believe I got away from that, actually, especially given how badly I was driving and how many times I crashed. And how many massive, spectacular, over-the-top crashes I had as well. That was, that was crazy. Now, I wonder if they've worked out that I'm in the car park, because the circle is going to be a bit of a giveaway for my position. So they're going to be in the area. This blister sounds interesting. Do they normally sound like this? It's got a bit more reviness. Oh! This is a sports car. This is not a normal blister. This is a sporty blister. A different version of the blister that's a sports car. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> I thought, yeah, that'll do. Blister, perfect. It's, um... Agile and nippy and so on. Perfect, just what I want. But no, it turns out this is a weird blister that is actually a sports version of it. So it's the hot hatch, perhaps. So I think instead, I'm going to have another Oracle. <laughs> it, the last one did me so well. I just, yeah, I think I'll stick with it. Oop, there goes Pete. So they, the point of this um, circle thing is it's supposed to keep the hunters in the sort of in the general area that I'm in in order to keep the game interesting. Because if the hunters are miles away, it's kind of boring. Um, there's no tension, or at least there's a lot less tension. Um, and it's, it's a bit too easy for me to hide by just sort of staying away from the, um, the checkpoint until I, until I feel like I'm ready to go and try and take it. So this is supposed to make it a bit more interesting. That's panicking the cars. Okay, I'm gonna go with panic. I'm gonna turn left here. This must be Chinese monument for this checkpoint. There's Pete going back up again. The opposite of what he just did. Okay. Sure. Um, what was I saying? So, um, yeah, this should keep the hunters a bit closer to me than the, uh, than the standard um, position indicator mode does. And they are, So that should, should make things a lot more interesting. At least that's the hope. And so far, I'd say it has. I mean, we've, we've had a really good chase there. That was um, interesting and chaotic. Uh, that's another checkpoint. Good. Was that my second or my third? Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's a giveaway, but it's funny. <laughs> Let's take the highway to get away from the away from the scene of the crime, as it were, um, as quickly as I can, because <laughs> I don't want. I mean, Pete's going to have told them where where that happened. They might follow me onto the highway. I should probably get off the highway fairly soon. Um, that's the one that goes south. I don't really want to get off there. What I'll do is I'll come off at the next exit and head north. Um, where's the next exit? I didn't realise it was this far to the next exit. Um, I'll head off here. I need a, I need a new car. I don't know whether Pete had seen that this um, Oracle too many times or whether they're just getting suspicious of Oracles because they're a good car um, and I do use them too much. What are you? You're an F620 there. That's definitely too ostentatious. That looked like another Oracle. Sure, I guess I'll use this thing. I don't I don't like the, um, the BJXL apparently uh, very much. It's not a great car, but that's all the more reason to use it as far as I'm concerned because if the hunters are going to, aren't going to expect me to use it then it's a good car to use. Hopefully I won't get in a chase in this one because that will be difficult um, because it's it's going to struggle to get away from the hunters in their faster coupes but that said last time I mean I got away from them by sort of tricks and actually I got away from them by crashing and then turned, that turned me around and I got lucky and managed to pull away from them so I'll I'll take it I guess. <laughs> but this, this has been a reasonably good run so far. Where is that checkpoint? I there seem to be a lot of these cars around as well, which is nice. Did I just turn my lights on automatic? Yeah, I did. That's that's handy. Um, where are we going? Oh, golf club. Okay. I can do golf club. Well, I don't know if I can. I could try and do golf club. Golf club. There isn't really. I don't think there's very much I can do around there that's sort of clever and weird and unexpected. 
um, because there's basically one major there's a major road that goes straight past it and then I think there's a, um, a road that comes in as a t sort of T-junction thing next to it as well oh there isn't even that okay there's just the one road that goes past it it's not it's a ma fairly major road so there should be a decent amount of traffic on it I think that's probably going to be about the only thing that gives me a chance of trying to take it um, oh come on lights change um, because otherwise it's gonna, it might be fairly obvious they might just be able to harass every car that goes along there. I guess we'll see. Pull up behind these motorbikes, I suppose. They're probably going to pull off faster than that other 4x4 is. Maybe I'm gonna find Whatever a it is. Is that another BJ? I think it is. You never know yeah, same as the one I'm in. You're really on to something there. Oh, so what's the best way to take the checkpoint? I think the best way to take the checkpoint, honestly, is just to drive up to it and drive through it. <laughs> not trying to do anything too clever um, I do quite like trying to take checkpoints on foot that's nice but I don't think there's enough pedestrians over there it's not it's not a really high pedestrian area um, the one I just took the one down uh, was it the one that last one I took the one by down by the um, the beach is probably quite a good one to take on foot because there tends to be a lot of pedestrians in that area um, but I didn't I didn't really get the, I didn't even give myself the chance rather because I drove in um, along a, a side road that Tristan could correctly guessed that AIs don't take. Oh, I'm in a right turn only lane. What's he doing? Is he suspicious of me? No, I don't think he is. He was just messing around in this area. Okay, he's gone. I'm going to go straight on here because I didn't really want to turn there. So I'm going to head off this way. It looks like the circle is still... Somebody shooting around here. If they are, should I be going... Should I be panicking and going fast? Maybe I should. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when I should be panicking, whether I should panic or not. It's a difficult decision. Oh dear. Right, okay, I'm now sort of on the approach to the golf club. I don't want to sit at this red light for too long. It's just... But that's why I don't want to run the red light, because every so often there's a lunatic nearby um, <laughs> destroying all the street furniture and um, getting and being sort of generally suspicious and worrying me, should we say. Oh, okay, that's a green light. Let's just drive straight past him, because I'm fairly sure I, he won't expect me to do that. And then pull up at this red light here. Oh, shit. Oh, no, I accidentally backwards a bit. Oh, dear. It's a chase, and I'm in the wrong car for a chase. Okay, he stopped, though. That might be my saving wasp name. It's about the only way I am going to get away, is if there's nobody chasing me. <laughs> well, maybe he didn't think that was me. I wonder. going to hide. I've not hidden brilliantly, if I'm being honest, but apparently it's good enough. Do these weasel news vans ever drive around the city? I don't know. This is a broken window, which is bad, but there's no hunters around to see me do it, which is good. Oh, it's a it's a tornado. These are... Let's just say they're not very good cars and leave it at that, shall we? <laughs> However, I don't think I've ever actually driven one of these before in a Manhunt game, so... Unless I do something stupid, they're not going to suspect it. But if I do do something stupid, or they do suspect it because, I don't know, they get a psychic tingle or something ridiculous, I don't know how they find me sometimes, I really don't. But if they do suspect it, my chances of getting away... Not great, should we say. Let's just, it's not a fast car. That isn't me doing a full, full speed acceleration with it, but it's not a quick vehicle at all by any means. However, I am hoping that's going to be its, its saving grace, should we say, that I'm going to get away with it because it's such a slow vehicle, they're not going to expect me to use it. 
and I like the grotty carbon as the uh, carbon the, 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 the carbonaras in front of me, which are very very nice cars, but they're far too good. I'm not allowed to use them. But then look behind me. I'm trying to drive carefully. There's Pete. Let's drive a little bit quicker. He seems to be following me. I'm going to stop at this traffic lights. Don't be suspicious of this car. This is a perfectly innocent AI car. Prime time, daytime. Somebody's got to do it. I hear you. What do you mean you have? Oh, oh no! It's such a bad car. I couldn't push it. Oh, I can't. Ah! I nearly got away with that as well. Ah! <sighs> <laughs> I think he's just not strip clubs then. Not strip clubs, strip clubs, although never mind, not strip clubs at the moment. I think he's going to get up by me. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I think this this entrance here, Tristan. Yeah, so do I, but I'm gonna take the next one. Okay. So that we're covering Oh hello B. Hello. Oh he's in in ghetto more. Got it. He's taking it. He's taking the checkpoint. I'm suspicious of a car down here if anyone's around. Heading into Ghetto over the bridge. Uh, taking a right. Yep, towards Grove Street. Uh, into Grove Street, which is very silly of him. It can't be him. It's a suicide. Oh, that's Thank you. Ah, damn it. This red car is approaching you guys. Um, went over the curb. Yeah, of course shooting someone in the middle of Grove Street was probably a bad idea. <laughs> Problems have occurred. <laughs> That's a very, very... Um, Lawrence looking thing, isn't it? This red one. Ah! Heading down to you guys. Pitted. Nope, AI. Bye bye, Mike. I've got nothing to defend myself with. I need multi shot weapons. <laughs> Would you be silly enough to go through? The estate, I wonder. It's gonna be around top of the Yeah, it must be. So we can't go through it now. Yep, that's where that's it. Yep. I rear ended it before that. But... Time is exactly right. White guy with black hair. That's all the description I've got so far. Then it's over, Joe. Yeah. All right, I can do the corners. I can't do the speed. He can't do the corners. I can do no, my God. Ah, we almost had him. Down, Mr. President. <laughs> right. Nice I assume you're all behind me, so you don't need directions, or? Uh, gonna need uh, directions. Right, he's gonna off road onto the highway. Okay. Uh, we have crashed on the highway. Uh, yeah, we are heading we'll east. See you. We're with you. Yep. Coming off. Not Stay coming sorry. off. It's alright. 
now he's doing up. the Maybe. yes going up here. Yep. South of Peter, I think. Oh, Mike, what are you doing? Oh, oh great spot. Wrong side of the highway, and and straight off. And he's crashed. He's crashed. He's crashed. Hit again. Yeah, with you. Many, many punchings have happened. Where's that be? A single shot and it's by an AI. I might be caught. Please keep your here. Uh, we've gone off road. Uh, doubling back. Yeah. Uh, by the construction site. North side of ghetto. Uh, near Simeon's. How are you still driving? <laughs> Again, if it's towards higher, lower. The engine's still there. Yeah. Oh, he said the thing. Uh, double back again, back towards Ghetto. And Simeons. And Simeons, yeah. Turning left, past Simeons. Uh, oh, there you are, I see I didn't see where he went here. Nor did I. I'm going to take a left, you carry on. Oh, he, he talked. Never mind. Mm -hmm. I, I had a plausible on skin, but what the hell? He's nearby, very nearby. I'm just going for pedestrians nearby. That's the idea, yeah. White guy with black hair. Mm. White guy with black hair. I did. He's got it. Yeah. Not really anyone heading north. I uh, might have had him. Um, black car heading uh, west. He ran me over as so I got out. South? That might be just that the circle is moving south. Yes, so, so, well, it's, it's south of the west tint. Southwest, more, more, much more west. I'm on the opposite side of golf course at the moment. I might have found him in a blue SUV. Which okay, where are you? Went through two lights. Uh, higher, lower thing, but I, I bounced the thing and went flying. I went, oh, that's probably not him. Hmm. Uh, and then, so, glanced back to the little dodgy stuff. I was like, wait a second. Yeah, that, that, that's him. And you collided with it, then it may have freaked out. True, that's the risk. And my, my lag does cause grief in the freak out. And the um, wind movements to happen. Yeah. Uh, heading south. It was very plausible here, actually. Yeah, heading south, I should think. So very slowly heading west, that's the only one so far. He's got it. There's anyone near the checkpoint at the moment? Yep. Nearish, yeah. Uh, if you had to light your fade, then. I'm a yeah. little suspicious of this blue car in front of me. Do you guys deal with that? Very I'm similar to the one I bounced earlier. I'm suspicious of a different one, so you guys deal with that for now. Now he's dead. Got him. Ah. Nice. 
Where was he? Uh, other side of golf course. I was I was suspicious of that one. I was like, you guys do all that. I'll deal with this one. And uh, yeah, it was him. It just kind of it was a janky turn as he kind of left where that roller checkpoint was on. If, would, had you just given up on looking at that car? Like, were you getting back in yours? It looks like you might be. I was um. So with the uh, the other two were dealing with another suspicious car. Um, so I was kind of half talking to them um, and kind of half keeping an eye on you. I was trying to push your car into you to knock you over, but the Tornado is such a terrible, terrible car that it doesn't have enough power to push your car sideways into you. I was hoping that being in such a terrible car would have been enough to, um, to get me to, that you wouldn't suspect it. 